Welcome. Welcome to Girl Finance Muslima. Hello, everyone. It is Money Monday. Y'all know the vibes. We do not chase money. We focus on impact. Listen, we are still at the top of June 2023. It is literally six months left into June. First, I mean, till six months left to 2023. Y'all know how I do. I want to check in, drop in the comments and let me know how you're feeling today. Let's do a mental health check in first. How's everyone doing? How has your week been? Maybe just how even today has been. It is Monday. How are you feeling today, bestie? I like to check in on my besties and do a mental health check in because it's nothing like someone else asks, especially when you're in the midst of having storms throughout the day, crazy day going on. I just want to ask y'all, bestie, how are you feeling? I just want to know, how are you feeling today? Drop in the comments and let me know how you're feeling. Let me know what city and state you're located in. Let me know the name of your business. Tag your business. Drop your business down in the comments. You never know who is listening and watching that need what you have. Do not miss any opportunity that doesn't cost you anything, especially to share your business and what it is that you do for the community. I like to say, I tell you guys all the time, solving problems is your key to wealth. Solving problems is your key to wealth. Find a way to solve a problem for a person and God will forever bless you. <laughs> Figure out a way to help someone solve a problem. My name is Finance Muslima. I've been helping families in a, a finance industry and anything of money mindset concerned um, insurance since 2016, I would say. 2017 was our licensed insurance agent. Somewhere around that era, to end of 2016, 2017, it is now 2023, right? I, I grabbed onto life insurance. I took it. I ran with it. I loved it. Couldn't for the life of me understand why we didn't know this stuff as a community. And I loved it. The ability that I had to impact families um, all around the world, but folks locally starting in my Charlotte community. So I, that felt really good for me. I loved it. And I took my finance um, career to a whole nother level since 2017. I am now your money mindset coach. I am the CEO of Cullen and Predatory Care Company. Me. I am an author. I am a speaker. Um, I am loving and having fun in what it is that I do, right? Figure out how to solve a problem for someone and you will forever be blessed. <laughs> so we already talked about um, today is the fifth. You should already have your June budget already written and laid out. If you don't, be sure to go on the website and get the um, Mindset and Money Planner and get your um, get your monthly budget written out. It is so, I cannot express to you how much I tell you all, it is very important to be ahead of the game. And especially when it comes to your finances, you have to be ahead of the game. You have to plan and prepare. Right. You have to make sure you're giving your money a job. Money works for us. We do not work for it. All right. So you should have already created your June budget. Today, I want to talk about the importance of the financial foundation. I tell you I have a financial foundation because I don't even know what a financial foundation is. So first, let me explain to you what a financial foundation is, and then I will tell you why it is super important for you to have one. A financial foundation consists of these things. It consists of knowing what your debt is, your savings, your investment, your credit, and your cash flow. Debt, cash flow, investments, credit and your savings five top things a financial foundation is super important and this is the reason being right it's all of these things mixed in one 
right? All of these things play a part in creating you a solid financial foundation that is so, 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 so tight. And I like to relate it to a house because it is a home, right? Not house, but I like to relate the financial foundation to a home. All right. So those are the things that consist of a financial foundation. The reason it is super important that you have a, fi a solid financial foundation is because, let me tell you this, besties, life is going to always happen. It doesn't matter how much money you got, whether you get a new job, whether your business take off, whether your children go, you know, grow old and move out of the house, whether uh, you get married and have another baby, whatever the case may be, life is going to continuously happen. So in the midst of life happening, we're not going to totally be prepared for everything, right? Because the changes that you make make to your finance once you get married and have a baby are going to be different changes that you make to your finances if you get divorced and become the sole proprietor of the home, right? And of the children. It's a whole, those are total, two both different situations, right? But no matter what changes, the financial foundation always stays the same. The reason that it is so important is because life is going to continuously happen. Economics are going to be continuously up into hell. And those are the things we don't have control over. What the stock market does, uh, whether we lose our job today or tomorrow, whether the business is winning today and it's not so good next month. It's just certain things we don't have control over. Who the president is going to be. Um, you know, a, a lot of things we don't have control over, but what we do have control over, it should be what we focus on. And that's most importantly, mindset It's going to play a huge role while you're creating a solid financial foundation. All right. Mindset is going to play a huge role because you have to think these things out and you have to think and work long term when you're creating a financial foundation, not just, you can't create a financial foundation if you're stressed and going through financial depression, worrying about what's going on right now, real time, the reality of it, right? Not like we want to run from the reality, but you don't create a side, a solid financial foundation, um, worried about what's going on, right? You have to think long-term because you have to position your mind to say, I'm only here currently. If you know that space isn't really where you want to be, it's a lot going on and I, my income is going up and down. And we have to say that's not this is not where we're going to always be. We're planning for better. We're working for better. We're preparing for better. Right. So when it comes to a solid financial foundation, you have to have a clear mindset of clarity. You have to have a mindset of clarity. You have to be able to think, you have to be a critical thinker, and you have to get uncomfortable and not worrying about a $100 light bill that's due right now, but worry about the big picture and what are my children, are, what are my children are going to be able to do for themselves at this age that I'm not currently able to do. So it's shifting, right? We focus on legacy right now. We're no longer worried about where we're at in the currently real time in the moment. So I'll give you some tips on the way how I started to first create my financial foundation is definitely will be the first and most insurance, right? Whether it be life insurance, um, because if we can't get up and do the thing that makes us money every day, how else do we do it? How else do we take care of the household? Right. If something happens to you and you barely make an ends meet now, you have a huge responsibility on your family, friends and your children to come up with money to bury you and so forth. Insurance is going to be the first and foremost thing on a, a financial foundation. Um, life insurance, um, whether you own a home, right, you have a mortgage is going to be insurance. It's so important for the home to be protected in case something happened this we you, we put everything into investing in this home this is your dream home right we've done a lot of work to get into this place we want to make sure the foundation is secure all right so financial foundation you have to be able to think past where you currently are 
So I like to look at it as this. This is the way I was taught. I relate to it and I teach my clients the same way. So it's like we re, we relate it to um, a home. So this is the foundation of the home. So I want to give you a real time example when it comes to money and how easily the foundation can be broken. Now, let's say for this is the home, the foundation. Let's say for an example, you should uh, you change jobs or let's say um, this. I'm talking to my women in business. Let's say for this month, the business didn't do too well. So when the business doesn't do well, um, you're robbing Peter to pay Paul if you're not prepared, if you don't have savings, if you don't have business credit cards for a backup with low interest, if you don't have a lot of things in place, especially if that's your only primary income that you depend on. When things go left with that, the first place you're going to run to is credit cards and start building debt. You start to live off your credit card. That's typically what people do. I see it all the time being a coach. So in order to ensure that we don't start breaking away at layers and, you know, doing different, all of these things start going on and shaking a foundation, once income shift, you have to have a backup. You have to have savings. You have to have good credit so that you need something, you could go get it or have the discipline to not use the credit card so much um, you know, showering yourself with gifts when you feel like, oh, I deserve this. I work hard. But also, can you go buy household supplies, three, four hundred dollars each when life starts to happen in the household? What's more important to you to have as security and backup for your foundation? So money and everything, everything should be positioned accordingly. Right. You got to know your income versus expenses. You got to know your debt to income ratio. When it comes to investing, I tell my clients all the time, you should not be focused on investing if you don't even have cash flow, if you don't even have income. Right. How can you focus on investing? Investing is like um, I personally say it's like taking huge risk. It's like even though it may be something that works. So let's say for an example, Airbnb or renting cars on Toro or um going into a partnership with someone and getting a multi-unit, getting into real estate. Investing takes money and time to make something build, right? So how can you get into investing and have two, three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars to put up towards an investment when you're barely making ends meet at home? You don't even have enough to pay your bare minimum three thousand not four thousand dollars money expenses at home. How can you afford to invest? Like, I want to know, drop it in the comments. Like, I want to know. And I say that to say, typically, if one doesn't have money to invest or, you know, a little wiggle room with something set to the side where they can say, oh, wow, like, I, I want to get into that. Let me spend my money and, you know, let me see what this could do. Typically, a person is not in that position position because they lack money management. They lack mindset and money management. If you lack mindset and money management, which is the basics, you can't even, you, you shouldn't even be worried about the money for investing because with investing and with thinking long-term, building longevity and leaving legacy, it comes a different mindset. And I don't feel that you have that mindset that investing takes if you don't even know the basics of money management. I got to be real. I got to be open and transparent with you guys. Drop in the comments and let me know, do you struggle with money management? Do you struggle with trying to figure out how to balance your um, weekly, your monthly income versus expenses? Do you struggle with that? And are you really making money to where so you could say like, hey, I really profited. And another huge part of it too is your credit, right? If you don't have good credit, that is another part of the foundation. And the reason I'm going to say that is because this life happens. We said that already, right? So let's say life happens and something goes wrong with your car. Let's say 
car get totaled, you probably waiting on, you know, insurance to pay you out a check or, you know, let's say something happened with your car and this is your foundation. The reason that credit is so important because you could go rent a car for free or little to less than nothing when you have good credit, right? You can bounce back and go buy another car, right? You can go to a credit union and get a, a really low interest rate on some credit, I mean, on an um, a auto loan, right? So credit is everything as well when it comes to the financial foundation. Now, let's say that you don't have good credit and this is your foundation and something happened to the vehicle now let's say oh i don't have no money i'm not prepared so now you exhaust that everything you have catching ubers to get around so that's like a brick or like a piece that's dropping out of the foundation right here because now what you're going to do is if you don't have anything on your debit card using credit cards to get around an uber because something happened to your car but you can't blame it on the fact that something happened to your car because life happens. You should be taking self-accountability and saying, why didn't I have my ducks in a row or have something else? Make sure everything was in order because life just happens. When you're only operating one way, you only know one way, it's draining, it's stressful, it causes anxiety, it causes financial depression. And everybody reacts to all of these things in a different way. Whether it be lack of self-love, whether it be running to entertainment and having fun and running the streets look because you're running from your problems. It could be various different things. Some people eat a lot and gain a lot of weight when they're stressed. And then some people don't eat and lose a lot of weight and get super skinny when they're anxiety or in financial depression. So what goes on? without you having a solid financial foundation will definitely affect you health wise and when it comes to your mental stability i want y'all to really think about that when you don't have a solid financial foundation and then something happens you're triggering your health and you're triggering your mental stability and you really don't don't know how to react next so i'm gonna say 80 90 percent out of time we want to react out of emotion and the decisions that we make out of emotion all the time are really not so good for us so let's avoid going through that route and let's really um tap in and say like hey i need to figure out where my financial foundation is what do i need to do to get on track to hit my goals and figure out how to get me and my family and my household together. And that's really what I want you to focus on, all right? So drop in the comments and let me know, or leave some tips, or maybe it's some things that you've done to help your financial foundation, and maybe it'll help someone else. Leave some feedback in the comments, and we are going to have a conversation about this because those of you who are in need of creating a financial foundation and may not know what that looked like for you, I want you to drop and leave me a message so that I can set you up on a consultation call and we can figure it out, me and my team, how we can assist you, right? Because we are the expertise. We know what it takes. We help families and we're focused on impact. So I hope you guys have an amazing Money Monday. Do not forget to do your June budget if you have it. And also, if you have your Money Mindset Planner that you ordered from us, from me, make sure you're using it. And inside of it, you'll see financial goal planning, financial foundation. Write, go down those steps and write down your own situation for your household. And let me know how that works out. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. I will see you next time. Bye.